For centuries, man has pitted beast against beast in gut-wrenching contests of power. It started with the ancient inhabitants of Pokemopolis and has carried on to this day, putting monsters so terrible in a ring that it would have made the Roman Colosseum goers nauseous. But there has been one matchup that has never been explored to the depths of which all humanity demands. Two living terrors which have been separated by what paleontologists call a long friggin' time. Today, we ask the question, what would win in a fight? A tiger or a velociraptor? Ordinarily, the absence of velociraptors for 65 million years would make such a debate impossible to settle. However, thanks to the scientific hogwash of Jurassic World, we have been able to resurrect a velociraptor and capture actual footage of this ferocious matchup. Before we show you this never-before-seen footage, we must explain the qualities of each creature First, we'll start with the tiger. The tiger is the largest of all cats in the world. It is a solitary hunter and therefore goes immediately for the kill. Typically, they stalk their prey until they get close enough to dash out and ambush them. While these stealth predators don't prefer a fair fight, you wouldn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one either. Tigers possess prodigious strength and carry out their disputes with other tigers by leaping at one another and employing their five-inch claws to deal deadly damage. They are capable of moving at speeds of 40 miles per hour and can leap up to 30 feet at a time. Now let's analyze the Velociraptor. Many imagine this large, scaly creature when they think of Velociraptor, but as many paleo nerds have pointed out on the internet, this representation comes from a mixture of many actual dromaeosaurs. This creature has the build of Deinonychus, the massive stature of Utah Raptor, of which it was actually a little smaller, and from this dog-sized pipsqueak, the name Velociraptor, because let's face it, the others don't sound quite as B.A. All these dromaeosaurs were excellent jumpers, allowing them to leap on top of other animals, anchor themselves in with their six-inch talons, and use their powerful bites to end the helpless creature's life. The Jurassic Park franchise suggests velociraptors were extremely intelligent and possessed near cheetah speeds. But again, paleo nerds have some fun to ruin. Turns out, the fastest of any of these real raptors would have handedly been beaten in a foot race by the modern ostrich. The Utah raptor, being the weight of a modern polar bear, topped out its speed at 20 miles per hour, a speed which some humans can best. And while dromaeosaurs may have been among the most intelligent of dinosaurs, many experts believe that this would have made them little smarter than a Thanksgiving turkey. Oh, and speaking of turkeys, don't even get paleonids started on how these creatures actually had feathers. They just won't shut up about it. So, which of these actual dromaeosaurs shall we pit against a tiger? None of them. Screw the paleonids. If this is what we picture when we think of a Velociraptor, then this is what we shall use. The following footage may be graphic for some audiences and are advised to watch one of Bob Bob Bryce's more benign videos. Oh yes, and for those of you questioning the ethicality of forcing a critically endangered animal to fight an already extinct creature in a monstrous bloodbath, remember, this is a very important experiment. For, you know, Signs. Reasons. The two creatures find themselves on a natural plateau, preventing either from fleeing. They spot one another and display a show of power. But after many roars and screeches, they realize the only way out is a fight to the death. While this version of the raptor possesses superior speed and intelligence, neither will come into much use in this enclosed one-on-one -on -one encounter. 
The tiger makes a short lunge, however the raptor quickly evades getting caught by its claws. While the tiger is significantly better suited for grappling, it would stand no chance against the raptor's full body weight should it be caught by a solid pounce. The back of the tiger's neck is a comfortable biting height for its opponent's jaws, which are comparable in strength to that of an American alligator. The raptor feels as though it has judged its opponent well and makes its attack, but the tiger's quick reflexes disrupt the lethal jump. The two topple to the ground in an intense struggle. The raptor seems to have managed to only land one of its talons and, landing on its side, cannot use its full body weight to its advantage in this fight. The tiger, now in immense pain, delivers powerful punishment to the dino's underbelly, but is unable to land a fatal blow. It is incapable of using its superior agility in this wrestling match. The Velociraptor does not fare well either. Its weak forearms are unable to deliver a telling blow, and its jaws cannot reach the tiger from this position. The Velociraptor, not being used to such a fight without its pack, attempts to struggle away and strike again. Its talon relinquishes its hold on its opponent, which is just what the tiger needed. Before the great reptile has a chance to regain its footing, the tiger strikes out in a second attack. The tiger's muscular paws easily outmaneuver the dino's snaps and is able to secure a killing blow. Thus ends the burning question of which terrifying beast would win. And there you have it. I have once and for all settled the debate on who would win in a fight, a velociraptor or a tiger. Thankfully, neither Hobbs nor Ralph were harmed in the filming of this vlog, only me a couple of times and the feelings of many paleo nerds which I have insulted this video. I do not endorse animal fighting, but I do endorse the people who did not bring you this video, and that is the makers of Jurassic World. I personally love the Jurassic Park franchise. I love dinosaurs. I think you should all go out and see it, mostly because it's dinosaurs, but partially because it's not Disney. Anyways, who do you think would have won in the fight? Hobbs or Ralph? Leave your reasoning down in the comment section down below, and I will see you next week. Mwah!